Hello friends, the addition of calculating the motor power for an electric vehicle is an important factor. In this video we are discussing about the calculation of the motor power for an electric vehicle. So don't skip any steps, see the complete video to know the various forces acting on a vehicle, electric vehicle and the calculation of the motor power on vehicle dynamics basis. Let us see how to calculate the power of BLDC motor for an electric vehicle. Let us take an example to design an electric motorcycle with a gross weight of 260 kg and a top speed of 80 km per hour. So according to vehicle dynamics, every vehicle should overcome these three resistance forces, rolling resistance, gradient resistance, aerodynamic resistance. The total resistance force will be the sum of these three resistance forces. This picture clearly shows the various resistance forces acting on a drive. The power required to overcome these resistance forces should be calculated. That power will be equal to the motor V required. First one, rolling resistance. Rolling resistance is nothing but the friction between the road wheels and the road surface. F rolling, the formula is given by CR into M into E. CR is nothing but coefficient of rolling resistance. M is the mass of the vehicle in kilogram. A is the acceleration due to gravity in meter per second square. Let me take the CR coefficient of rolling resistance value in the table showing in the screen. Bicycle tire on asphalt road 0.004 or if you want low resistance tubeless tires you can take the value as 0.0022 to 0.005. I have taken CR equal to 0.004. The mass of the vehicle is 260 kg. The acceleration due to gravity is 9.81 meter per second square. So substituting in this formula, we'll be getting the rolling resistance force as 10.20 newton. Next, the gradient resistance, F gradient. It is nothing but the climbing ability of the vehicle. When a vehicle is running on a gradient surface or a slope, the gravity will slowly drag the vehicle downwards. So to overcome this resistance force, it has a formula F gradient equal to M into A into sine theta. So M is the mass of the vehicle in kilogram. A is the acceleration due to gravity in meter per second square. So theta is nothing but that slope angle, gradient angle. So I have taken mass equal to 260 kilogram. A acceleration due to gravity 9.81 meter per second square. And for flat surface, we can take theta as 0 degree. We will be getting the gradient resistance force as 0 newton for a flat normal road drive condition. Next, aerodynamic resistance. It has a formula 0 0.5 into rho into v square into ca into af. The multiplication of all this value will give you the aerodynamic resistance. It is nothing but the wind resistance. It is directly proportional to the square of the velocity of the vehicle. Rho is nothing but density of air medium in kilogram per meter cube. V is the velocity of vehicle in meter per second. CA is nothing but coefficient of air resistance. F is the frontal area of the vehicle in meter square. So let us take the values, sample values. Rho is equal to 1.23 kg per meter cube. That is air at sea level. The density of air at sea level is taken as 1.23 kg per meter cube. The velocity of the vehicle is, we have taken 80 km per hour. We can convert into meter per second by multiplying it with 1000 by 3600. CA is nothing but the coefficient of air resistance equal to 0 0.88 for bikes I have taken. You are seeing this table for various car structure, bird structure, some other structures, bus and I have taken bike racing as 0 0.88 for the drag coefficient value. So only thing we have to find out the frontal area of the vehicle for substituting, so for substituting this into aerodynamic resistance formula. We are uploading much more interesting things. So be part of our channel by subscribing to our channel and click the bell button. So how to calculate the frontal area of the vehicle AF? Only three simple steps will give you the answer. First thing, draw the front view of the vehicle. That is, here I have drawn the front view of the bike, motorcycle. Measure the height and width of the front view. 
note i have taken the for the motorcycle you have to measure the width as up to length of the handbar the height of the bike is up to person's helmet this picture clearly shows you have to draw draw the 3d view of the bike with passenger with the helmet and you can convert the front view as a 2d structure now this shows the width of the bike and height of the bike motorcycle the measured height equal to 1630 mm and width 780 mm so multiply this height and width with the adjusting value because for adjusting value the rounded corners can be rectified for cars 85 percentage bikes 70 percentage trucks and buses 100 percentage now we are designing the motorcycle so af frontal area is equal to 1.63 into 0.78 into 0.70 will give you 0.89 meter square so substituting in aerodynamic drag formula 0.5 into 1.23 multiplied with 22.22 square multiplied with 0.88 multiplied with 0.89 so the aerodynamic drag we have got 237.81 newton the total resistance force f rolling plus f gradient plus f aerodynamic drag will be 248.01 newton so the motorcycle has to overcome this 248 newton resistance force to get propelled so what is the power needed for propelling this motorcycle that is propelling power required to overcome these resistance force so power we we have formula total resistance force we have calculated previously multiplied by velocity of the vehicle in meter per second 248 into 22.22 the power answer is 5510.56 watts it is nothing but 5.5 kilowatt so to run an electric motorcycle with a gross weight of 260 kilogram and a top speed of 80 km per hour we need 5.5 kilowatt motor to propel the motorcycle if you have any doubt please comment in the section given below thank you